this is Russ. Yeah, we're back out on the road once again. This is actually my second time out today. And uh, yeah, changed bikes. So what am I riding right now? This is the Hemiway Zebra. All right, this guy's busy waving hello. And make sure that she doesn't come forward and hit me by not watching me while she's waving hello to the other guy that was crossing. So, uh, oh, hitchhiker. Gotta, we had to flick that hitchhiker off again. Yeah, they always seem to land on me and then they just hang out. So I have a couple of things to tell you about uh, Hemiway. Yeah, Hemiway. Hemiway's got a sale going on on the Zebra right now. If you missed the last time we had a sale. I don't want this guy like running into me here. All right. <laughs> Too many cars coming out here. Yeah, they got a sale on the on the Zebra. It's normally $19.99. It's uh, $17.99 right now. Save a couple hundred dollars. So if you missed out the last time, now's your time to try to get something again for some type of discount. There's that bungee cord again. I see it on the ground. Nobody ever picked it up. Um, yeah, it's not my bungee cord. Yeah, I noticed the last time I mentioned Hemiway, four of you guys went out and bought Hemiway zebras. I think they were zebras. Yeah, thank you so much for that. I, I appreciate you using the affiliate link. Yeah, if you're going to buy a zebra, click on the affiliate link first. Yeah, it doesn't cost you anything more. You don't, you don't lose any of your discounts. Click on that first and then... Um, that gives me a little bit of credit. They give me a little commission for that, for mentioning it to you. And I appreciate that. It helps me out as a retired guy. Every little bit helps, right? So, so do that. Now, the thing with the Zebra, all right, it's always fun to ride the Zebra. <laughs> but like, like, I, well, like I will tell you, uh, and I've told everybody before, it's a heavy bike. It's not a lightweight built strong like I said it's probably the strongest bike I have in the entire fleet right now the, the frame is built like a tank it is solid <laughs> so your top speed is 20 miles per hour unless you unlock it and if you do the unlock sequence you can get it up to I think it's claimed 25 miles an hour something like that I think I've gotten 24 something you know at 24 25 is whatever you're talking a mile <laughs> you hear a little bit of squeaking and that's the rear brake I had that problem when I first got the bike it still seems to be persistently there then as it warms up a little bit it seems to be better after you've used the brake a couple times but it's early in the morning right now so yeah, be aware that it's a heavy bike, it's a big bike, it's 26 inch wheel. Um, compared to the bike that I rode just the other day, it's a 20 inch wheel from another manufacturer, we'll leave that name off. Um, this is a big bike, yeah. So if you're, if you're a bigger guy, or a girl, or whatever, <laughs> you, you, um, you need to know that it is, it is large, it's 26 inch wheel. Um, fat tire 20 26 by 4 inch fat tire bike I added some things to my bike as you know I put the the, the bottle cage down here I'll show you down here where it says zebra <laughs> I put the bottle cage down there I put a bottle there I put the cell phone mount I have a uh, well, I'm, I'm reaching for the wrong area I just mentioned the bottle thing and then I, I reached for the wrong thing um, I put a thumb throttle here it's a half twist throttle, but as you know, I always put the 3D printed thumb throttle option thing here. You can do that too. Um, I just went to my local library. They had a program where they will 3, 3D print things for you for free. And you just pay for the plastic. So it's like 50 cents. And then you gotta buy some screws and a nut, right? A screw and a nut. So let's say, well, I bought, I bought those screws and nuts um, um, through AliExpress and I bought like 50 at a time because I know I was going to go through them. Um, 
but if you don't, you can you can buy like two screws and two nuts um, at places like Menards or Home Depot, that type of place. But you buy them in bulk, like I did. You know, the 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 combination of the screw and the nut probably is only like 25 cents or something like that, if that. So yeah, about 75 cents. Yeah, I got a thumb throttle out of it. If you can get someone who who has access to a 3D printer. If not, they sell the exact same thing on places like Etsy or eBay and whatever. I saw I think I saw the same one on Etsy for like ten dollars. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they're they're making a little bit of profit there. Oh look at this car. What is that? That's the uh, the new Corvette. You might know I like uh, I like cars, right? <laughs> I don't have anything fancy. <laughs> But it doesn't mean I don't appreciate them when I see them. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford something like that. Sorry. <laughs> Russ is right and Russ is cheap too. We said that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I added a bell. I, I think it comes with a bell. I don't know. It's been so long now. I can't remember. <laughs> it probably comes with a bell. I replace it with my, my inexpensive uh, bells, the ones that I like. You know, those things ring a long time. <laughs> if it's a good one, the other bike I had, um, I have to replace it because it, that one doesn't seem to ring too well. So on occasion, you might get a bad one. So if you ever order those bells, you know, from these various places, you might have to buy one or two just in case uh, you, you don't get one that's that that, that good, right? So uh, I have the Hemiway um, light. Uh, that's, that's part of the bike, but I also have a, an accessory light here. As you can see, it's blinking. I like putting these other lights on because they blink. The, the ones that come with the bikes usually don't blink. And it has a rear tail light along with it. That, that's, this was their least expensive one right here. So it's not the brightest, but you can get brighter ones if you want. So I got those off of the Hemi Zone. Remember the Hemi Zone? Yeah, it's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you can see it. Visit their visit their site uh, on Amazon just just to get a feel for what they have. Okay, all right, hold on a second. Too noisy and too dusty. <laughs> Guy's blowing out his equipment there. Yeah, visit Himmy Zone uh, on Amazon. Take a look at their stuff. They have a lot of different offerings for accessories. And uh, you might need something, right? But uh, yeah, the prices seem pretty decent too on some of the products there. So there might be things there that you could use, okay? Oh, and I, and I added this uh, mirror too. This one's made by Hafni. Um, in the description of my videos, I usually have a link um, for you for various accessories that I have. Uh, this particular cell phone mount is made by Lamacall. It's the BP-09. So I did a review on that one. I like that one a lot. I use it quite often. I, I move it from bike to bike. I don't know if they, they I don't think they sell that brand on the Hemi, Hemi Zone, but they have their own. You can take a look. You know, some, some uh, mounts work for people. Sometimes they don't. I know that the, uh, the relative who bought the other bike from me, the KBO Flip, um, she wanted to get a cell phone mount. I says, well, you're gonna have to take your case off of that. And she had one of those fold over cases, you know, it looks like a little wallet. I says, nah, you, you can't, can't keep your cell phone and a wallet type thing on and put it on the, uh, the mount. It's never gonna make it. But if you, if you have like, like I do, where it's just like a, like a thin protector thing, for the back of your bike, uh, back of your bike, back of your cell phone. Those will usually fit without a problem. All right, where are we going today? I have no idea. I'm just riding like I usually do. Crossing over here, that brake is squeaking on me. Let's move up a little bit. It'll give them a chance to try to set the sensors. But they're, the bikes, in, uh, the bikes, the cars in front of us <laughs> are also setting, um, setting the light for us. As long as there's cars either in front or behind us, no, well, not necessarily behind us, but next to us, their metal will set off the sensor and then we'll get a, we'll get our turn at the light.
I will say this, the, the zebra grabs a lot of attention. Whenever I'm riding the zebra, I can always see people looking at it. It is a step through bike, so uh, it's easy for me to hop on and hop off. And, um, but uh, the frame being as big and heavy as it is, it kind of really grabs a lot of attention. It's good and bad, I guess. I mean, if they hate e-bikes, they'll probably hate this one too, but if the people are interested in e-bikes, yeah, they, they'll really like seeing this one. And then uh, the Hemi Hemiwave brand name is on the rear tail light. Every time you grab the tail light, it lights up their name. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of branding on the Hemiwave bikes. Yeah. Some people like that, some people don't. All right, where shall we go? Uh, I guess we could ride up to uh, Bussy Woods, but I really don't feel like riding Bussy Woods. I really don't feel like it. We're heading in that towards that direction. Well, maybe we'll head towards it, but not necessarily hit it. Uh, yeah, we'll just head towards it, but we won't, we won't go there. Usually we would have turned left already. Let's just go straight. Let's see where, where this takes us. So, uh, yeah, there was a question recently. Somebody said that... Uh, yeah, some of these houses don't seem like they have basements. No, they have basements. <laughs> Not all of them, okay? But uh, many of the houses do have basements. I have a basement. Now, with a basement, you would think, well, you can fit all your bikes down there. Well, no, because I don't want to move it up the basement. <laughs> these bikes are heavy. Going up and down the steps would be really tough. So I don't want to do that. So because I don't, I have to use the storage that's on the main level. And um, so the bikes have taken over one room already and there's a number of them in the family room and dining room. So that is not good. My wife has been very uh, accepting so far, but I don't think that'll last forever. I need some water again. I should be grabbing the water bottle with my left hand using my right thumb to do the throttle so I can keep moving while I'm drinking the water. But being right-handed, I tend to grab it with my right hand a lot of times. So overall, um, the Zebra has been a fun bike to ride. Now, I only have one battery for it. I did just recently ask them for a second battery. I haven't heard back from them whether they will allow me to have a second battery or not. Many of the other companies have given me second batteries because they know that I can go farther then. And I usually will ride the bike more often too because I, I won't have uh, range anxiety at that point. But, uh, you know, it's up to them if they want to give it to me or not. But if they do give it to me, what I usually do is I'll strap the battery to the rear rack and then uh, I'll go farther. Yeah, I'll go farther and longer and more often usually because uh, I, I'm not stuck in the same general neighborhood. I can go wherever I want. But the battery that comes with the Zebra does go pretty far. I'll tell you that right now because the last time we did the range test on it when the bike was relatively new, when it came in last year, I think we got like 32 miles, 31 or 32 miles out of it. That's a lot. And on top of that, uh, for me, okay, let me say, let me clarify that, okay? For a guy my size, because I'm a big heavy guy, for a guy my size getting that much range, that's pretty good. But that's, that's due to the 20 amp hour battery. It's a 48 volt battery. Um, that's actually pretty good. But if I had that second battery, 
theoretically, if the other battery did the same thing, I could do 64 miles. Now you may say, well, do you really ride that long? And the answer is, yeah, I do. I do go a distance sometimes. Or like even if I did Bussy Woods, for instance, if I did Bussy Woods, um, that's 12 miles around. Then of course there's the, the, the distance to get there and the distance to get back. So I would say, yeah, you could easily do about 30 miles just, just to do Bussy Woods once. If I wanted to ride that twice, I wouldn't be able to do it with just the one battery, see. Okay, oh, I, I remember this. This hits us into uh, Northwest Highway and then yeah, end up with Bussy Woods again. We're gonna, we're gonna turn around. I'm not gonna go through here. All right, so let's just move ourselves along here. Sorry for popping the uh, camera against all the other stuff. You know, when you hop off the bike and you're just kind of hopping and turning it, there's only so much space between the uh, <laughs> the opening there on the on the bike. So, I guess these guys got their garbage day because all the garbage cans are out. Yeah, different parts of uh, neighborhoods have different garbage days, of course. They can't be all the same day. <laughs> you work these guys to the bone, just kind of pick up garbage for the entire village. That doesn't happen. You got to do section by section, right? Yeah, still pretty good. I don't know what the weather is right now. We should probably check it. Let's check it. I got to fix the... Uh, the thumb uh, print recognition on my left hand. It never seems to be picking up my left hand. 71. 71 degrees right now. Not bad. Oh, you guys letting me through. So thank you very much. All right, so that was the main thing I just wanted to let you know. Um, that the Hemiway bike is still available for those who may want them at a more discounted price. I missed out on the last one. So um, yeah, order up a Zebra if you're looking for a bike and you're looking for one that's a step through. They have a step over model too, I should, I should mention that. It's not just a step through, so if you don't like the, the step through type designs, you can get a step over version. But if you want a heavy duty bike, this one is built solid. Nice hydraulic brakes on it. Hopefully you'll get one that doesn't squeak like mine squeaks a little bit. <laughs> that happens, you know, sometimes uh, the brake pads are a little different on one bike than the other. And when you change the brake pad out, yeah, then the squeak will go away. I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> doesn't bother me all that much. I've gotten used to it knowing that some bikes will squeak sometimes and some bikes don't. Yeah, I have the other bike um, from the other brand, which we'll leave uh, nameless, that um, you know, every time I hit the front brake, uh, because you know, there's, they're perforated, right? Those, those uh, rotors. You can hear it a little bit on this one too. It'll, it'll make little gurgling sounds. <laughs> and my wife says, something's wrong with your bike. I go, not really. It's just, uh, it's just the way that brake happens to be doing it. It doesn't do it on her bike, but it uh, does it on mine. But yeah, it doesn't bother me all that much. It used to <laughs> when I first got bikes and I didn't understand it. But now, yeah, I just figure, hey, some bikes do certain things and other bikes do other things. So just learn to live with it sometimes. But at least it's got hydraulic brakes, my point. And the hydraulic brakes on these things make it a lot easier to stop. All right, where should we go? Well, let's turn here. 
we usually end up turning here anyway. <laughs> I recognize it because I kind of recognize this house on the right. It's kind of a nice looking house. It's different. Whether you like it or you don't is another story, but it's different. I'm drying out again. I'm drinking a lot of water. In general, I drink a lot of water. Whether I'm on a bike or I'm not, I, I usually do drink a lot of water. They say that's good for you, but you can overdo it too. But here, uh, I usually drink the water because I dry out, my, my mouth gets really dried out as I'm talking to you guys. I mentioned before too that a lot of times I'm not pedaling when I'm riding the bike with you guys because I don't want to sound winded when I'm talking. And you've heard it before, you've heard it where you know I, I had to pedal and you could hear it in my voice, you know. We, we took the one bike that's, uh, what was it, a uh, torque sensor class one bike, <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> You had to pedal on that one, yeah, so that's, you can hear it, it's not as uh, interesting. So a lot of times when I'm with you guys, I will throttle, then on the way home, I will pedal. Not always, admittedly though, and sometimes I just throttle it back too. If I'm too tired or I'm too lazy or I'm too whatever, I will, uh, I will just give up and say, forget it. <laughs> I'm throttling home. And that was the beauty of the e-bike to me. I knew with my knee problems that if, if I either got too tired or too lazy or whatever, I could just rely on the motor to get me home. And I still do that to this day, even though the knee is better. But still, uh, the knee, like I said, for the last couple weeks has really had some issues. Okay, I don't want to go this way either. What am I going to do? I'm going to go right and then come back down one of the other, other streets. Alright, let's do that. <sighs> a day on the bike is better than a day not on the bike. So when the weather is decent, I gotta put my time in. <laughs> I gotta get out there. Like I said, this is my second ride today already. And when I mean ride, I mean ride. <laughs> I haven't been pedaling a whole lot today. Dropped off one bike, picked up another bike. I may do it again. <laughs> Drop off one bike, pick up another bike, I don't know. Yeah, tomorrow I'm expecting shipments to come in, so I'm kind of stuck in the house again. And, uh, and in order to have enough videos to come out for the week, I've got I've to put in time. But on the other hand too, besides just riding, I want uh, decent topics to talk about while I'm riding at the same time. So I kind of rely on you guys sometimes, you know, if you guys have a good topic or a good comment of what we should discuss, then uh, put it in the comments. Sometimes you guys tell me uh, potential things to do, and I'll tell you, yeah, I'll try to work on that, and then I totally forget to do it. <laughs> I know there's one or two of them that some of you guys have asked me to do, and I said, yeah, that's good. Uh, we'll do that. And now I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Bad memory, and I forgot to write it down, too. How do you like that? So if you asked me to do something before, ask me again, okay, put it in the comments. And I gotta write this stuff down, otherwise I'm gonna forget. I think somebody mentioned something about bike safety. I think that was one of the topics. I can't remember, there was one other one too. Sorry guys, I, I keep forgetting sometimes. I'm always kind of talking about safety though, if you think about it, right? I'm always saying, hey, you know, be careful of this, be careful of that, watch out for this, watch out for that. I'm probably more safety conscious than others. Although the stops are always something people always ding me on because they say, well, if you're safe, why aren't you stopping? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that again. I try to do a rolling stop. 
But other than that, other stuff, right? I try to be as safe as possible. I try to be as courteous as possible while on the bike as well. Because I, I read, you know, there's this Nextdoor app. I'm sure you might have it in your community as well. I read some of the stuff people mention. You know, a lot of people just go there and whine. They do. <laughs> I went to this restaurant, it wasn't good, or, you know, I uh, had a bad experience with this uh, contractor. Okay, well, it's good for that, I guess. You, you know who's good and bad, but again, it's, it's, sometimes it's the perspective of the person. Maybe they had a bad experience because of something else we don't know about. <laughs> But uh, I've, I've read on the Nextdoor app where some people were saying, yeah, these guys on e-bikes, you know, they don't, uh, they don't follow the rules. They don't stop at the stop lights or stop signs. Well, I always stop at stop lights, you know that. Um, I do a rolling stop. Sometimes that's not good enough for them. They don't specifically mention me. I, I, I always, when I see something that comes up, they're talking about e-bikes, I want to see... Are they talking about me? <laughs> it's never me, it's not even in our area. There's usually they're complaining about kids who have the e-bikes e and they're riding 40 miles an hour you know, on their Suron or something. <laughs> I have not seen a Suron out here, by the way. I, oh, I take that back. I did see a Suron once on Bussy Woods, which is uh, amazing that they were even on a bike path with that thing. And those things go really fast. But like out in California, the Surons are very popular because, um, and, they, and they'll ride in like a, a group of bike riders and they, they'll break every rule in the, in, in the book. They'll pass through red lights and everything. I mean, they put it on YouTube, I see it all the time. So I, I'm thinking, man, you know, if you're gonna break the law like that and put it on YouTube, that's pretty stupid, quite frankly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't want to break the law like that and then put it on YouTube. <laughs> you ever heard of evidence against you? <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> but yeah, they'll ride like in a gang. A whole gang of them will ride down the street, 40 miles an hour, breaking everything and forcing cars to stop for them because they're coming through. That's terrible. So I, uh, I, don't, I don't go for that. Those type of bikes are not my kind of bike, too, by the way. I've said before that if companies like Suron were to contact me and say, would you like a bike? My answer would be no. Yeah. Those are expensive bikes, but my answer would be no. I, I would have no need for it because I wouldn't want to ride it. So, um, yeah, I would give that up. That would be one that I would turn down. That surprises some people. <laughs> You're turning down, how much are those things? Five or seven thousand dollars? I don't know how much it is. For the better ones, that is. You would turn that down? Yeah, I would. To me, a bike has to be like a bike. I mean, I do like my speed and all that stuff, but it's still got to be a bike where I can pedal it and I can ride it like a regular bike and then I can go different places with it and not be um, breaking any type of rules or laws, prohibiting certain type of things or certain speeds and stuff. I, I wouldn't want that. Alrighty, well, I think we had enough for today. <laughs> Am I gonna grab another bike? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. The weather's still pretty good. I mean, as long as the weather's still good, I should probably really do it. What time is it now? 9.34 only. It's still early. The hot weather hasn't hit yet. I might, I might not. I'll have to see what's charged up. Usually I'll charge up the bike the night before, make sure it's topped off and ready to go. I don't know what bikes I have available that I could use. If, if I have one that's uh, got decent uh, battery on it, maybe I will drop it off and pick up another bike. I haven't been pedaling a lot so far, so I will have more uh, energy. <laughs> so I could do it. We'll see, when I get there we'll know for sure at that point. 
Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll talk to you guys next time.